Um, thank you, Halifax Social Network, for giving me an opportunity to talk about uh, my initiative, Art Proven. Art Proven stands for the art of provenance using blockchain technology. So we are solving two big problems in the art community. We are protecting, protecting artists' intellectual property rights, and we are helping artists to get more work. Now, throw this all business as stuff away. So let me talk about my personal life. How did I reach here? This is when I go and you know, I'm trying to raise some money. This is my, like, you know, a business pitch, like, okay, this is what we are doing. This is what the company is all about. So, <clears throat> well, so here's my personal story. Uh, I think some of you might already know I was, uh, I was born in India and I uh, moved to, to Canada nine years ago. While growing up in India, uh, one of my favorite pastime was to bunk and skip my school and <laughs> my undergrad college <laughs> and actually go to the airports. Uh, go, go to the airports. Go to the airport. I would often bunk my classes to go and see airplanes. Airplanes would motivate me to dream big, aspire, and uh, it will infuse me with a lot of uh, motivation towards life. And airplane also represented kind of freedom, you know, like we all want to be free, we all want to escape our, our uh, fear, our, you know, like some, sometimes things holds you back. So I would love to go to the airport and see the airplane. Airplane also helped me to, it, it, shaped, my, um, it shaped my artistic side, side too because as an amateur painter, I would love to draw airplane, and I really got into the landscape artistic painting. So fast forward, I completed my undergrad. I was in India, and like I said, love plane. So I would see all these different airplanes from all over the world. So I would be like, yep, I would like to go to New Zealand. Yep, I would like to go to States. Anyhow, I applied to a bunch of grad school, and I got accepted in Toronto. I moved to Toronto nine years ago. and. Uh, yeah, it was love at first sight. Met people from all over the world. Uh, what a great opportunity. Toronto, love Toronto. I mean, such a lovely place, beautiful place. I did my one-year course in finance, and then I moved to Halifax. I found a job opportunity here. And man, as soon as I came to Halifax, it was love at first sight. Like, I mean, this place resonates in my heart. I mean, if you look at our province, we have ocean, we have water, we have trees, like you name it and we have it. And above all, it's all about you, you guys, you make it special. Thank you. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys, you, may, you make it special and I moved to Halifax in, back in 2011 and uh, it's love at first sight, so yeah, utilizing my uh, skills at school. I, I got a job at Scotiabank. I started working there and uh, well, everything was going well before one fine day our manager calls us into his office and he's like, well guys, I'm like, wow, that's an unusual meeting at 8.30 in the morning. Like usually we meet at 9.30, 9.45 if any one of you have worked in the banking industry. So I was like, okay. And then he was like, guys, you know, every, each one of us is using phone. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's obvious. He's like, well, we just got a call from head office in Toronto, and uh, our branch might not be there for a long time. And at that point of time, I understood how technology is overtaking the world. So I was like, OK, I have to do something. Where's, what's my plan B? So uh, I thought, oh, it's a good opportunity for me to go back to school and learn about the technology. So I went back to school, did my master's of technology, entrepreneurship and innovation from St. Mary's Universities. Go Huskies. Woo <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was at school, and uh, what a great experience. I mean, just uh, uh, meeting people from all over the world. And while I was at school, I stumbled upon the blockchain technology. It's the same technology. I'm sure you all have heard about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin uses a blockchain technology. and I quickly learned I can use that technology in the art world. So basically, 
what my initiative, Art Proven, is trying to do. We're trying to solve two big problems here in Canada and around the world. So the first problem which we are solving is not enough work for artists. According to Stats Canada, an average artist in Canada makes around $22,000. That doesn't resonate with me. Someone who has invested five, six, seven, eight years of his, her life at school, and then he or she comes out and gets to make $22,000, that's not done. We want to change that. A second thing, what we would like to address is intellectual property right. A lot of artists uh, post their content on internet, but people think, hey, if it's on the internet, anyone can download it. It's, it's for free. And when I was talking to a lot of artists, I found out a lot of artists are not equipped enough with enough protective measure to secure their work. So our initiative, Art Proven, wants to protect artists' intellectual property rights so that we can empower you to protect your content and you are <clears throat> given due credit for your work. So, well, that was my short story. Would love to hear you guys if you have any feedback, any information about my initiative. And uh, thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Halifax Social Network, for giving me an opportunity. <laughs>